Greetings, friends and strangers alike. Welcome, one and all. I'm your friend, Light Woodland Elf, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we were kind of in all sorts of shit at Junon. Tifa was uh, being gasped <laughs> to death. Uh, Barrett and Kitsif were working out a plan to uh, rescue her and escape. Uh, meanwhile, Weapon, uh, Sapphire Weapon namely, was attacking Junon. Uh, and in the end, it got its head blown off by the cannon in an amazing cutscene. And we managed to escape and get to the high wind and yeah that's pretty much where we are now <laughs> so I'm here at the gold source section just for no particular reason although actually I'll take this opportunity to go to coral it's an epic drift around the corner like floating like five feet above the ground so pro yeah you can uh, you can revisit the towns everywhere and you can talk to people and they're kind of Shit and bricks of the whole meteor situation. No one knows what to do. Which is understandable in a situation like this, you know? Anyway, let's go up the gondola. Oh, baby, can't wait to play me some games. Take my mind off the shitty situation that is at hand. Uh, oh, why is Dio there? Why is the, the owner at the front entrance? Hey, boy, what you doing, Dio? Sorry, I'm going to close this for a while. I'm just a paid in if I should be business at a time like this. Yeah, the gold sauce is closed. Yeah. Dio thinks, well, the end of the world is kind of imminent, so there's no real point to be making money right now. <laughs> Which, I guess that's a fair point to have. <laughs> So we go back down. <laughs> Bit of a waste of time, but I just wanted to go up there and show you that. Uh, spoiler, the gold saucer does open back up um, a little bit later in the game. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll be coming back here a lot during that time. Anyway, there's no point really going back to the town for weapons and stuff. Because it's pretty much just the same shit they had the last time. Yeah, that's the items, but oh well. <laughs> Back out. So yeah, I just wanted to share that little tidbit that the gold saucer is closed. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we kind of were given a lead as to where's as to Cloud's whereabouts in the last episode. Red said, <laughs> Red said, Red Red thirteen said he'd heard of a place that uh, pretty much that the live stream sort of gushes out from the ocean floor and we think that Cloud has basically Cloud got sucked up into the live stream we're thinking maybe, just maybe that Cloud got sucked up to the ocean floor and is now washed up ashore somewhere but where? Red said he'd heard, heard such a place existing but he didn't exactly say what that place was um, so if you're confused as to where to go you can actually come to Cosmo Canyon and talk to Boogan and he pretty much tells you exactly where to go. Well, not exactly. He mentions a place called Medeal. I don't think he says that's where the live stream comes from, though. I don't know. There might be a couple of other places in the world but give you sort of hints about a island in the southwest, at uh, southeast. So, I mean, if that's our only lead, we're going to chase it up, right? We're going to find Cloud. Anyway, the place they're talking about is this here. This is Medeal. Kind of in the oh come on! I'm two steps outside the town, bruv. Bruv, what are we going to doing this for? Ugh. All right. Um. Is there any summons I haven't shown off yet? I don't think so. All right. Let's just use magic there. We need to actually work on getting kills for Vincent because um that's how his limit breaks are obtained. He has he only has four limit breaks as opposed to seven, like the other characters. Um So yeah, his his require kills to get. So we're gonna have to start working on that. Well I might just do that off screen, to be honest. Anyway, let's head in. See look at that one. 
Five fucking feet. Anyway, as you can see, it, it looks like a bit of a poor town, like Gongaga and that. It's kind of like a tropical village. Uh, you, what are you doing? Ahoy! Hey, ain't you a beaut? Wow, what a perf. This is my deal. It's quite, there's a look, quiet little hot springs town. Just the perfect place for us old folks like us to live out our lives. I hear things, I hear that things aren't too peaceful out on the outside, but here it's still nice and quiet. Oh, that's fucking great, buddy, but mate, it's kind of going to destroy this place too, you dillweed. No, anyway, let's start checking this place out. Uh, here's a item shop, very, <laughs> oh, very convenient, conveniently named just there. Wait, what was that? I didn't hear what you said. Uh, just an item store. Uh, remedies are pretty dang good. If you don't have ribbons. What did he say? I want to know that what that joke was. Tell me the joke, fatty. Oh, he doesn't say it again? Damn it. Well, I'm sure it was a very funny joke. Anyway, you might notice that there's a chocobo thing going on right now, and there's a lady kind of running around with a little tiny white chocobo. He's so cute, look at it. She's sort of a crazy lady who... I've got moves going to follow us, huh? There's no joke, we've got to start stacking up on supplies before we're gone. Out of the way, here, move it, move it! <laughs> yeah, she's some crazy raider who, um... Because the end of the world is coming, she's sort of... Panic buying everything, stocking up. <laughs> like this is an apocalypse or something? Well, it is an apocalypse. Actually, there's something you can do with that little white chocobo. Um... I'm going to be right back, because I, I want to go get an item specifically for that uh, white chocobo. <laughs> be right back. Alright, we're here at the Chocobo Farm. Because we're here to buy a green. For that little guy. Uh, because if you give him a green, he gives you a special item. Uh, buy. And you need to buy one Mimic Green, I think is the one he likes. So let's grab that. Also, while I'm here, thinking about it, actually, I'm going to find him at Garzolan. Um, I think I mentioned something last episode about how this is actually a pretty good opportunity to fight him if you don't have beta. Because the level you're at, uh, he's pretty much, he's nothing to you, to be honest. I mean, Vincent's looking a little low on uh, on the health there. So, I I'm scared that beta might actually still kill him, because it does do a decent chunk to you, even at this point. So, I'm going to give him the fire ring. Uh, we all have an enemy skill, yes? Yep. 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 I'm actually going to put them all onto one character. Um, because uh, if you've never battled a Midgar Zolom, he has this weird battle effect where he removes someone from battle. So if you remove someone from battle with an enemy skill on, that person doesn't get beta. So we're going to hope that he doesn't remove Vincent. If he does, then we're kind of screwed. But, uh... Anyway, come here, big boy. Oh, damn it! Are you fucking kidding me? Twice now. We've been right on the edge of where we want to go. And we got attacked. For f are you kidding me? Yep, these are the exact same management that we hear earlier in the game. They're, they're just a shitter. That's one thing about this game is... um, The enemies don't scale with you like they're doing... Wow, Kits, if that did fuck all, man. What? Oh, Tifa! Alright, Vincent killed me sniper rifle. Yeah, the enemies don't scale with you like they do in Final Fantasy VIII. See, so in Final Fantasy VIII, you can revisit areas in the game, and the enemies will have leveled up, so they're still kind of a challenge. In this game, they don't do that. You go back to the basic areas, they're still going to be the shitty levels they were. Uh, anyway. Yoo-hoo, Midgar Jolem. Come here, big snaky boy. Yeah. I wish he got the boss battle for this guy. Uh, boss music for this guy, because he is kind of a mini boss, so I think. Anyway, let's start pounding on him. I'm not actually sure if there's some kind of. Um. I I'm not sure if there's an item to steal from me, is what I'm trying to say. I should have brought sense material along with me, actually, because I'm not sure how much health this guy actually has. Anyway, he's doing a come at me bro stance, and we don't like that. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's throw up Bidguard to get some haste on and try and nullify the damage from Beta that's coming. 
like I say, it still, it still can do a decent chunk to you, even now. Oh, here we go. Don't pick Vincent. Don't pick Vincent. It's picked Tifa. Brilliant! I believe that means he's low on health, and he's gonna um, use beta soon. Hopefully, Katesif doesn't kill him. Don't you do it. There we go. Oh! Here it comes. Here's beta. Here's the big move. Ooh, that did a lot less to Kate Sith than I thought it would, to be honest with you. Alright, let's finish him off. Odin, come fuck a bitch up. I said, there we go. Kate Sith, don't blink, don't break. Aww. Yep, this counts as sort of a mini boss, large enemy, whatever, so Odin won't use the bladed sword. Because that'd be too easy. Odin's gonna fuck you up. He's gonna fuck you up with his pink lance. Tee hee pink lance, that sounds dirty. <laughs> oh, I'm immature. Yeah, so there's Beta. Great time to fight him. Because he's easy as fuck. You notice Tifa doesn't get any experience there because she was ejected from battle. Alright, so let's um let's get those enemy skills back. Vincent, boy, what you hogging all the enemy skills for? Yeah, there's... Oh, no, not Magic Plus. That's Vincent's. Magic Plus. And what else do you have near Bahama? Yes. Oops. <laughs> Getting too excited. Okay, okay there we go. There's Beta. There's Midgar Zolem. In all, it's easy as fuck to beat Glory. We got the Mimic Green we need, so I'll meet you back at Medial. All right, we're back. Back in the tropical town of Medial. Now you go into the shop. You can go in any shop. She's uh, She spawns in every single one of the shops, so it doesn't matter which. But touch the chocobo. No. Ugh. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. No! <laughs> Everything in this store is mine. You know, whatever. I want to talk to your little birdie. Oh, there he is. What's wrong with you, show friendly? You want the mimic green? Yeah, boy. Give it some mimic greens. Hee <laughs> how cute. Nice one. Tickle him. Now you get an option to uh, scratch him behind a specific area. You have to pick the right one, which is behind his ears. And he spits out a fucking material at us. Received. It didn't really tell us what the material was. Let's go find out, shall we? Uh, this is the contain materia. It's elemental materia. Extremely powerful elemental spells. We're actually going to give that right to Vincent. Uh, let's get rid of Titan. Um, it's got four stages. Uh, freeze, which is ice elemental. Break, which... I think it's earth elemental. Tornado is obviously wind, fire, obviously fire. I think breaks. Earth, I'm not too sure. And all of those spells have a small chance of doing a special effect, like... I know Tornado's one has a very small chance of inflicting instant death on the entire party. On the entire enemies, whatever. I'm not really sure what the other ones are, but it's very powerful magic. I recommend using it. Yep, 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 whatever. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Whoa, what was that text box? Bissar weapons, first come, first serve, yep. You there, don't just stand around outside, come on, don't be shy, step right up. I'll never know why I wanted to. Oh, he's talking about the owner of this shot, okay. Anyway, Crazy Drug World is in here too. Uh, if you come to this door at the back. I wonder if it's locked. Okay, there's a random door here. I mean, it's locked. I wonder where we can get a key for that. Oh well. Let's go over here. Anyway, if you come around this area, I think. Yep. <laughs> I think there's supposed to be a little sound effect, like a floorboard sound effect. Uh, if you look, if you press circle on this spot, we find. A beat up useless old key. And what do you know, we've just found a door where we don't know how to get into. <laughs> Let's go use this key, shall we? <laughs> See if it works. I mean, what are the odds? Later, get out the fucking way. Get out of the way. There we go. Let's try the 
try the old key, see if it works. Hmm, this is pretty tight. That's what he said. Ah! It, it broke. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, the guy caught us. Um, um. Um. Oh, no. What am I gonna do? Uh, tell him the truth. Um, I'm sorry, mister. I forced the key and it broke. Key? You mean the one to that door? <laughs> That's a good one. Huh? There's no key. It's just a wall. We just painted a door on it. What? <laughs> Why? What the fuck? You asshole. We drew it on there to make it feel like it could pass through, in, in, pass through it into another world. Sorry to have surprised you. It's not much of an apology, but please take this. Um, okay. Okay, you painted... <laughs> you painted a door on a wall because you felt like it might be able to pass through to another world. Dude, you can't go to Narnia. Anyway, let's check him out. Because he's a weapon store. And this is where we can buy the latest weapons. Uh, crystal bangle. We can buy some wizard bracelets, that's what we've already got. Crystal bangle. Uh, we're not going to buy. Because the arm we've got is actually better. Uh, we are, however, going to buy Vincent and Kate's best weapons. Winchester. And the crystal megaphone. Yep, whatever. Uh, attach those boys. Oh, Winchester, there we go. And that item we just got there, the uh, cursed ring, is an accessory, and we're going to put it on Tifa. What it does is it. Uh, where is it? Actually, that is a damn good point. Where is it? Cursed ring, there we go. It increases your stats a little, but it inflicts death sentence on you. Now, if you know Tifa's power flow strategy, we want Death Sentence on her, so that is actually a fantastic accessory to put on. Uh, we're going to give Vincent his ribbon, ribbon back. Yeah, it seems um, like it's a bit of a trade-off, like increased stats, but Death Sentence on you, but for Tifa, that's a fantastic thing, because she benefits from it, and it means we don't have to waste time casting Death Sentence on her, so that's fantastic. Uh, and I believe if you also cast like White Wind or something, it doesn't take the sentence off her or whatever. And another thing that's reminded me actually is we're gonna put the ATB to weigh and slow the battle speed down a bit. Because I noticed um, in the Genova fight that we had in the Northern Cave, I had the battle speed really high, so that 60 second timer that Death Sentence has just flew down in about 15 seconds or whatever. <laughs> So if, you, if you're doing the power soul strategy, I recommend you put turn your battle speed down, put it to weight. Uh, also, you want to in the back row so she's not taking as much damage. And also, you kind of want to put, um, if you put a tranquilizer on her where she's got no status, it puts sadness on. You kind of want that because that means she's taking less damage, which is critical to the power soul strategy. She's kind of there not to take any damage. Anyway, this isn't a shop, so we're that crazy lady, ain't you? Ancient weapon, end of the world. Malarkey, I'm going to live to be a hundred. There's still tons of stuff i got to do. This is just the beginning. What have Shinra and Soldier done about it? Tell me, they're useless. All right, crotchety old man. Oh, are you making some bread? Sweet. <laughs> Actually, I'm a beautiful maid. I only work in this accessory store part-time. Wow! <laughs> Talk about egotistical. I'm a beautiful maid. Jesus Christ. Uh, none of these are that great, to be honest. I think we've actually got all of these. We don't have an amulet. I don't know if we have a fairy ring, but that's not that useful, to be honest. Uh, no, amulet, luck, plus. Yeah, it's... No. There's... <laughs> pretty much the only accessories you should be having right now are the ribbons, uh, the cursed ring if you're going for the power source strap. If not, um, the champion belt you, you get from, Gold Sor from the battle arena in Gold Sorcerer is a fantastic item also. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I think this is another shop too. Oh yeah, baby. Do, 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 Cash is welcome here. Well, yeah, of course. Oh, here's the material shop. Um, I might actually buy some of these. HP plus. I'll buy one of each. Might put them to good use uh, because because Vincent is rocking so much. 
like magic and summon material, his HP stat is suffering. So we're going to give him a HP plus. Um, I guess he can have that MP plus too, since he's going to be using a lot of material, a lot of magic points. So he can have those too. Uh, what else should we go give Kersif actually? Seeing as he's got two extra slots now. Um, Kajata? No, I don't really want to use Kajata. I guess we'll have, he can have Sense and Moth. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all the town explored. So, I mean... Oh. Hi, Ducky. What's the matter? You all alone? You got lost, didn't you? Separated from someone you love. Silly thing. Yeah, I guess it's been about a week now since you washed up here on the shore, poor pokey hood. Pokey headed young thing. Oh, wait, he's dropping on someone. It was really sad, but weird. He was holding this really long sword. I don't know, the whole thing feels unlucky to me. The amazing thing was those weird blue eyes. What? Blue eyes, spiky hair, long sword. <gasps> What'd you say? Excuse me, the person you were just talking about. Yeah, a villager found him, a little ways down the coast. About a week ago, I think. Poor kid. Must have drifted some, from somewhere pretty far away. It's Cloud. It must be Cloud. You found him. Jackpot! <laughs> so where is he? Is he safe? Where is he now? Uh, he's up there in the clinic. He's alive. Cloud. Cloud's alive. Cloud. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait up. Oh man, it'd be so awesome to see his spiky hair. Where is it? Where's Cloud? Cloud? Hey, you barge in here like media was crashing down or something. Uh, it's kind of an insensitive joke, man, I don't think. I'm sorry, but I heard a friend of mine was here. Friend? Oh, that young fellow? Don't worry, he's next door, but his condition isn't good. Here? Over here. Cloud? There he is. We found him. Oh, Cloud. I'm so glad you're safe. Huh? Cloud? Uh-oh. What? What's wrong, Cloud? Oh, what happened to you? Makeup poisoning. Quite an advanced case. It appears this young man's been exposed to high levels of Mako energy for an extended period of time. Probably has no idea who or where he is now. Poor fellow, we can't even speak. He's literally miles away from us. Um, no, he's not literally miles away from us. Someplace far away, we're not far, far away. Someplace far away, where no one's ever been. All alone. <laughs> that kind of slipped into a bit of case after there. Oh, gets us all sad. That's terrible. Cloud. Oh, man. No, let's excuse ourselves. Would you all mind waiting outside? <laughs> okay. Why does Kitsif kind of look back at the doctor as if to say, Fuck you, say, boy. Shit. So we found Cloud, but look at the look at the state is in. And see if it just breaks down. Why? What do you want me to do? Please, Cloud, talk to me. Tell me you see me. That you can hear me. Tell me, please. He has no idea, Tifa. I'm sorry, girl. I made it this far, believing in the memories we shared. This isn't happening. It's too cruel. Oh, Cloud, I... Yep, Tifa just breaks down. This is what breaks her. She's always been tough, independent... <laughs> strong, independent woman. <laughs> no, she's always been kind of tough. This just breaks her, seeing Cloud like this. 
Hey doctor, is Cloud alright? Is he going to get better? Come on, tell us the truth. <sighs> Say it again, he's got Mako poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. An immense amount of Mako Genesh knowledge was infused into his brain. It's a miracle he survived. No normal human could have. No wonder, after falling into the live stream. But remember, the light of hope can be found anywhere. If you give up hope, what will happen to him? Yeah, hopes and prayers kind of don't heal people. Just saying. Yeah, I know Cloud would get better. With friends like us worrying about him, he'll pull through. Again, that don't really make any difference. <laughs> Let's see if he's got something to say. Are you alright? Yes. I'm sorry to worry you all. There's something I want to say to you. <laughs> Do we all have to go back inside for that? I mean, alright, you don't want to say something important out in the street. I get you. So what's up, Tifa? I don't care about anything else. Only Cloud. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I wanted to be by his side. Do what you wish. If two for a man nurse, I'd switch places with Cloud any day. Wow! Kiss, if you're a fucking robot, how? why do I have a hearts for Tifa? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Especially now. Don't worry. We'll return and check on him later. I hope Cloud gets better soon. That way you can be my nurse and you can take care of me, you know what I'm saying? Very well, then. We should return to the high wind. <laughs> what a weird fucking line from Kitsa. <laughs> so shit, we're now down to seven party members. Tifa's gone. Jeez, what is happening? Uh, six party members, sorry. We were already down to seven with, with Cloud and Eris gone. But anyway, the rest of us are kind of like... Well, the fuck, what the fuck do we do now? I'm, Cloud's gone. Tifa's gone. What the hell are we going to do? Huh? Ain't nothing we can do. Don't go telling us with Cloud to get better. Oh, I've got some news. Yeah, what? That you a spy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've already told you I was. Both Gahaha and Kahaha are up to something. Want to eavesdrop? That's Heidegger and Scarlet. No idea why he calls them that. And here's the point where it becomes a little bit fucking obvious just who Kitsif is being controlled by. <laughs> Gotta say. It's kind of obvious right from the get-go anyway, if you just pay attention, but... Yeah. So we're kind of having a board meeting. Now then. We're faced with two issues. Destroy media, remove the barrier on North Cave and defeat Sephiroth. Any ideas? <laughs> the first problem's already solved. Media will soon be smashed to bits. The plan is already in motion. We are collecting huge material from each region. What? Huge material is a high-density special type of material made through a special compression process in Mako reactors. No idea why I've made her British, but fuck it, we're going to stick with it. What was that? Did she just twerk? <laughs> I've never noticed that animation before. Did she just twerk? You, tw you twerking girl. The energy extracted from it is 330 times the strength of normal materia. <laughs> How about that? Okay. We will gather all the huge materia together and ram it into meteor. That will cause a huge explosion, reducing meteor literally to bits. She did the twerk again. Scarlet's twerking? I demand fan art of Scarlet twerking immediately. <laughs> You're going to ram meteor? Do you think we have the technology to do it? First things first. Right now we've got to collect huge material from each area. We've already collected material from Nibelheim. All that's left is Coral and Fort Condor. I've already dispatched troops to Coral. <laughs> oh shit, Shinra's up to something. Coral! Every time I hear the word Coral, I just think of The Walking Dead. Coral! What else can you do to Coral? The huge materia. You mean the huge materia, don't you? I've heard about it. 
When our small materia nears the larger one, there should be some reaction. I'm certain of it. That's why we're using materia and the power of materia in our fight. Can't let Shuna get a hold of black, uh, huge materia. Wow, black materia. Besides, when Clyde gets back, I want to show him this huge materia. He's going to be shot. So what are you saying about it? Even though you're always knocking him, you really want Cloud to return. Shut up, fool. I don't... I ain't say nothing about nothing. Just shut your face. <laughs> Every group's gotta have a leader. And that's me. Or at least I wanna be. And I ain't cut out to be no leader. I never knew that until lately. So who? What, Kate Sif? He's gonna be the new leader? Huh? 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 Sid's been asleep this whole time. And we get the awesome music. Like this, we haven't heard this since the uh, since we went from June on to Costa del Sol on the ship. Great music. Anyway, Sid's just woke up. Like, what's going on? You've been chosen to be a new leader. Pain in the ass. Forget it. Rose to fight. We gotta have high wind. And you. All of these motherfuckers up in here. We need, to, we need it to save the planet. Who's running this ship? You. And why are you our new leader? Ain't no one else can do it. Sid, like, he's like getting pumped. He's like, yeah. Hmm, this shit's gonna save the planet, huh? You're not gonna be just a little bit tough? Oh, man. St stab me in the heart. Wow. The original PS1 says that went right to my heart. That just kind of like, what the fuck? Stab me in the heart? What? I'm a man too. Okay, I'll do it. Everyone follow me. Alright, now here's the first job. Operation Room's waiting for you. Yeah! He kind of runs off all excited. Yeah, city boy's in charge. Yeah! Sid's run animation. Yeah! Yo, Sid. When you're ready, we're heading for a call reactor. Come on, leader man. Let's hurry. Yeah, that's right. Oh, hi, Yufa. So, I know you're just dying to talk to a babe like me. But just leave me alone. This ship makes me... Yeah, we don't want to... Look at that. God damn! Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, so that's going to be all for this episode. We've just about run out of time. Uh, so, man, we've got our mission. We're kind of, like, stuck not knowing what the fuck to do now that Cloud and Tifa is gone. Now we've got a mission. We're just going to go and pretty much fuck up Shinra's plans. <laughs> So, I don't really know why we're fucking up Shinra's plans, to be honest. They're trying to stop the meteor. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, in this episode, we did a bit of fucking around on the overworld. And we found Cloud. The search for Spark, I mean, search for Cloud is over. We found him. But he's in pretty much, he's pretty much comatose right now. See, Tifa's stayed behind to look after him. And now we're just going to run around fucking up Shinra's plans until Cloud gets better. <laughs> so, uh... Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!